Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 30th, and it is a hot day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. It's also a bit later in the day than I usually uh, make these videos. It's uh, it's about 12.30. Normally I'm doing this around 6 or 7 a.m., so it's uh, it's a bit hotter down here in the in the shop than it normally is as well. But uh, yeah, having a, having a great weekend so far. Uh, had some things to do this morning, which is why I'm coming to you a little bit later than, than usual. And looking forward to the holiday week ahead. Uh, so today I've got this uh, basket billiard that you've seen many times before. One of my favorite little pipes. And I'm smoking Haunted Bookshop. And you guys that are betting against me ever getting any of this into jars, you're uh, probably going to win the bet because I've been carrying this thing around like a tobacco pouch. It's not good. So uh, what I wanted to talk about today was, uh, you know, might be bordering on too much information in a sense because I'm going to talk a little bit about a medical issue. But if you bear with me, there's a tie-in to uh, to pipes and pipe smoking that. Uh, I think will surprise you and hopefully I'll help you avoid uh, having the same problem that I had. So about two months ago I was out to dinner with my wife and I noticed that I was starting to feel itchy on my uh, left chest. And I thought, That's odd. So I get home and I look and it looks like a little mosquito bite. Now this was still before mosquito season so it wasn't. I, I knew it wasn't, but I thought, you know, maybe a little spider or something. Very red, angry-looking, mosquito bitey looking thing. So I put some cortisone cream on it, and uh, it didn't really help, and I went to bed and forgot about it, and the next day there were like five of them. And I thought, okay, this is weird. Uh, probably worth seeing a doctor, because it was, in, at this point, intensely itchy. So I go to the doctor, he takes one look at it, and he says, you've got shingles. Shingles is a terrible thing to be diagnosed with. It just sounds awful. Uh, he, the alternative is to call it uh, herpes zoster, which doesn't sound a lot better. <laughs> Basically, uh, shingles is, uh, is the chickenpox virus. Uh, when you get it as a child, <clears throat> it does go away, but the virus doesn't. The virus hides out in your spinal cord. Spinal cord. And uh, it can, as you get older, reactivate, and it doesn't come back as chicken box, it comes back as shingles. Now, shingles is problematic for a couple of reasons. One is it's really itchy. Um, the other is that it can be intensely painful, and people describe it as the worst pain they've ever experienced. So, he immediately puts me on antivirals and some steroids, and, you know, I take all this stuff, and whatever this is, it's just laughing at it. It had no effect. And it starts to, to grow, and it's spreading. And I thought, uh, you know, I'd go back to the doctor, and he's, yeah, it's, it's shingles, just, you know. And, and so this went, I went to the doctor like three times for this. And each time, the answer was, yep, that's shingles. And uh, I'd go home, and I'd have no treatment, because he can't, there is no treatment. Not my doctor's fault, but, you know, there's nothing he can do, and it's really itchy. But it never got painful. So I was convinced that it wasn't shingles, because I had no pain, I just had this itching. Um, I, uh, to be fair, I did think there was some pain, but also this is the region I've had surgery over here, and I've got uh, a lot of issues over here that could be <laughs> causing that pain. So, uh... Anyway, after, after months of this, uh, I was lighting a pipe one night, and I did what I always do. You know, I took out the Zippo, and I, and I reach out for my, my little shirt pocket here, and I drop the Zippo in. And as I did that, I realized that the lighter rested up against this rash and fit perfectly. I actually had a Zippo-shaped lighter on my chest. <laughs> and I remembered what my friend Glenn told me. And Glenn, I, I hope you're watching and you'll correct me if I get this, the details of this wrong, but Glenn was a surgeon in the Vietnam War, if I remember right. And he said that he saw fighter pilots come in 
with Zippo-shaped rashes on their thigh because they would keep their lighters in a pants pocket and the, the suit that they had to wear and the, the G-forces and everything would force the fluid out and they'd have an allergic reaction to the fluid. And this set off a you know, a little bell in my head, and I went and I did some Google searching, and sure enough, people are allergic to Zippo fluid. It can produce a very nasty rash. I stopped putting this in that pocket, and I've been putting this in that pocket for many, many years. And I, you know, these shirts, I don't wear them when I'm at work, but most of the other time, this is the kind of shirt I'm wearing, and in that pocket will be my lighter. Within about two or three days, the rash started to leave, uh, started to fade, the itching stopped. Uh, I was putting moisturizing cream on it, but I had been doing that for quite a while because it just kind of tamed down the itch a little bit. And it's, you know, after about two weeks, it's pretty much gone. So, I love these, and I will continue to use them, and I don't see the need for any other type of lighter. But I will never again keep this in that pocket. <laughs> um, and I'm going to think about any pocket that I keep it in because, you know, I, I just don't want that to happen. So uh, I like the the denim, uh, you know, jeans have that little extra pocket. I don't know what that's originally for. I'm pointing down here and you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I'm just pointing. Uh, that, that little pocket that doesn't really hold anything except it seems to fit one of these perfectly. That puts a couple layers of denim between me and the lighter. And otherwise, I keep it on the table, and it's fine. So, I tell you that, guys, because, you know, we, we all know that, you know, the stuff we're doing here, pipes, tobacco, lighters, it, it's, not, it's not safe, it's not healthy. Uh, we do it in moderation. We try to balance our life so that we, uh, you know, we... we we exercise, we eat right, we, we eat foods that are high in antioxidants, which is really important if you're a smoker. Um, and, and, and we've got the safest form of tobacco consumption on the planet here. You know, so it's not healthy, but we take precautions. And a precaution I'd highly recommend is to be careful with these things. Because while, while I am extremely grateful that I didn't have shingles, because shingles is terrible from what I hear. Um, it wasn't fun, you know, it, it itched a lot. It was it was quite painful, uh, not painful, but quite itchy. Um, so it was an annoying, annoying problem to have, and I, you don't want that. So be careful with your, your Zippos. Uh, you may be allergic to the fluid and not even know it. You know, I've been using these for, it's got to be 30 years now. Uh, zip, well, maybe 25 years, and uh, the just now happened. So, yeah, it's something maybe it had to build up over time. Maybe something in me changed that made me more sensitive. I don't know. Uh, biology is a mystery to me, and I'm a biologist. <laughs> so, in terms of shop news, I continue to work on the shop. I actually uh, slowed down a little bit this past week um, for no good reason. I just slowed down. Uh, I hope to get some stuff done today. It's coming along. It's coming along, and I'm I'm pretty excited about moving into the next uh, next phase of things. So we'll see that coming. Uh, thanks for all the feedback on the last couple of videos I posted. That uh, roadway ramble that I did on Friday about demonetization. I hope you understood that I wasn't trying to say that I was like terribly upset by this or that I was losing anything. You know. I, Honestly, guys, with the money that's coming in from all the videos that I've ever made is typically somewhere around 50 or 60 cents a day. It's it's nothing. and uh, it, But it's nice, you know, after a couple of months that builds up and, you know, eventually I get a, a deposit into my account that lets me buy a couple of pipes to refurbish or some tobaccos to talk about or, or lights for the shop or something, you know. So it's, it's, it's not a lot, but it, it helps. And... I was talking, I, I, what I really wanted to do in a sense was defend YouTube because I get it, they're a business and they need to keep their advertisers happy. We could argue about the real, you know, meaning behind it and the real motivation behind it, I should say, and whether or not YouTube's keeping more money than they should and, you know, well, yeah, yeah I, I get all that. I don't want to argue about that because I don't think there's any good answers to it. But the bottom line is, I 
can't be too set, too upset about the demonetization because they have to keep their advertisers happy. And the drawing video that I made was one of my first attempts at trying to come up with a different kind of content that would still be YTPC related. Um, you'll notice I chose a famous pipe smoker as the subject. And I'd really like to expand that. I'd love to do a series of, of YTPC presenters, if, if any of you guys are willing. I need some time. I'm not quite good enough yet, as you might have noticed if you watched my attempts at uh, Edward G. Robinson. Um, I was feeling pretty good about it until my friend Jerry said that he thought it was Chairman Mao until I put the pipe in. <laughs> that was a good one, Jerry. So, yeah, I've, I haven't been doing this for very long. I have been doing a lot of drawing uh, over the past couple of years. Uh, I used to draw a lot when I was in college, uh, but sort of stopped for no good reason and started again for no good reason. It's just something that I like to fool around with. And the, the computer, tablet, and all that makes it a lot easier just to play around and erase things and, you know, just have fun with it and the ability to record that you know, it, it opens up some possibilities. So, anyway, I appreciate your feedback on that. If you haven't seen that video, please go watch it and, and, and let me know what you think. Because I'd, I'd love to make more, but I don't want to do that if it's just going to be cluttering up your your feed. So, uh, take a look. I'll, I'll put a thing up here so you can, you can find it at the end of this video. Anyway, guys, I've, I've held you long enough. I hope you had a great weekend this week. I hope you're looking forward to some vacation time over the 4th and a nice 4th of July holiday with family and friends. And uh, I wish you all the best. So until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.